Hello everyone, my name is Yuen. I'm nice to see you again. You already learned the three diagrams of W equations, compound sentences, complex sentences, that clause and W H noun clause. In today's video, you are going to learn the three diagram of if always the clauses. Okay? So let's get started. Three diagrams. In order to draw a diagram, the first thing you have to do is analyzing all the elements of the sentence. Otherwise, you don't know uh, what you are going to draw in your diagrams. Okay. Complex sentences. Noun clauses. If or where the clauses. The sentence is. An engineer determine if the measurements are correct. Please analyze the sentence with me. An it determiner. Engineer is noun. So determiner plus noun become noun. Noun phrase sub subject. Okay. Determine is main main verb main verb of the whole sentence. If is clause marker or subordinator in complex sentence it is called subordinator or clause marker the it determiner measurements is noun so determiner plus noun become noun noun phrase r is main main verb of subordinate clause that's why noun phrase here become sub subject Alright, E add adjective phrase or uh, it is predicate add adjective or one more it is subject complements as well. So from subordinator if to the rest of the sentence it is called noun noun phrase direct of object object of what object of determine. So we can draw our uh, diagram like this. Sentence, non phrase subject, we have determiner, and noun. Determiner is an, noun is engineer. Verb pre predicate. So from these two, the rest of the sentence is verb pre predicate. Let me tell you some about that. When you see noun clause and adjective clause in complex sentences, we draw diagram from noun phrase subject and verb pre predicate. So when you see only noun phrase subject and the rest is verb pre predicate, so noun clause and adjective clause from verb pre predicate like this. We have main verb. What is it? Deter, determine. And noun phrase here, yeah, noun phrase of object, but it is noun, noun clause. When talking about noun clause, we have subordinator. What is subordinator? Subordinator is if, and then noun, noun clause. We have noun phrase. Subject, then we had determine. Determiner, what is the determiner? Determiner is the. How about noun? Noun is measure, measurement, and verb pre predicate. Verb pre predicate, we had main verb. What is it? R and add adjective. Adjective here is predicate add, predicate adjective, or you can write subject complements as well. What is it called? Correct. This is the three diagram of each clause as an object of verb. Again, in complex sentences, if await the clause is here, first you have to analyze the noun phrase subject like this, and then the rest of noun phrase subject is 
verbally predicate so noun clause he become object he it from verbally predicate like this verbally predicate and then we have main verb and noun phrase noun phrase object but it's usually any noun noun clause but uh, noun clause of object then we have subordinator noun clause noun phrase subject subject we have determiner and noun verbally predicate we have main verb and adjective predicate adjective or subject complete complement does it make sense everyone after my explanation if you have any question about the three diagram of noun clause especially if you await the clause as the object here please write your question and try my best to reply to all of yours okay they come to the end of my presentation thank you very much for watching my video but don't forget to watch it every day a new video come out per day when you meet one you find it difficult to understand a lot of grammatical items because everything is in order you spend around 7 to 15 minutes watching my video you can understand a lot from my lessons okay thank you very much see you later bye bye